another thing I wanted to ask you about is uh, the the TikTok <laughs> moment that you guys had. Um, it seems like that was kind of a surprise. It definitely, I mean, I didn't expect King for a Day to like go viral on TikTok in 2022. How did you guys feel about that? It was it was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. It was it was so <laughs> crazy, you know, like because we couldn't have planned any of that. You know, we were just home. We were trying to finish our album and like there was nothing going on with the band. Like we were just hibernating, waiting to put new music out. We didn't have a single piece of new music out. And all of a sudden this song from 10, 12 years ago just started. Uh, it it like, I think it reached number one on rock charts. On, yeah, I think uh, so. It was crazy. So uh, it um. It was super exciting. I loved every minute of it. I loved watching the fans develop this uh, this this trend into like this into different things. So it was like a snowball effect of of uh, people like chopping it, trying to top each other on how creative they can be on it. And uh, we were just sitting back, just watching it and just loving every second of it. And I, I think I'll never forget the moment when I woke up and we saw that Lizzo had done the trend. Oh wow! And I didn't see that. Yeah, and me and my wife were just like, I just held my phone in the air. I was like, fucking Lizzo, what is happening? <laughs> so Wow, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, it was uh it was a wild, wild ride. And, yeah. Uh, I love I love that the the that people did this. You know, it was it was incredible. We appreciate like all of that stuff. What I thought was really cool about it is seeing so many younger kids that look, you know, they seem like Pierce the Veil fans from like 10 or 12 years ago, but like the new generation of that, like there's those, right. there's one of the most popular ones is I think they're like El Salvadoran or something like that. There's like three or four girls like in their basement. And it was so cool to see because it's exactly the same kind of energy as, you know, the old school Pierce the Veil fans. And to see like a new generation of that is just really inspiring. It is. It is inspiring. It's, it's energizing. And, um, yeah, we didn't know, you know, what to expect when we started coming back and in, into the spotlight. And uh, uh, I really felt it a lot too at, at our live shows. You know, I would, I would tell the crowd, I'd be like, "Who's seen us before?" You know, throw up your hand, and it'd be like, you know, a good amount of people. But then, who's never seen us before? Who's the very first Pierce Avail experience? It was like whole crowd freaks out, and so that told us that there's this whole new generation of of music lovers out there, and these kids kind of starting to define themselves with their music tastes. And um, man, that's like, that just opened our eyes to be like, oh my God, there's a whole new, new era of our band, you know, right in front of us. So it's really exciting. What I think is insane is that <clears throat> there's people who would see that as a negative, that there's, you know, some kid that discovered Pierce the Veil on TikTok six months ago you know, like treating them like they're not a real fan or you only know King Dude, for a day. That's I've insane seen this to a me. lot. I've seen this a lot of people like calling people TikTok fans. Yeah. And, and that doesn't make any sense to me. Like if you're a fan of music, no matter how you discover it, if it moves you and you love it, you're a fan of it equally to anybody. You know, you can't compare yourself or think you're better than anyone else just because of the, the platform that you found it on, you know? Right. Like we discovered stuff from MTV. Does that make yeah. us not real fans? Yeah. All these MTV kids out here selling out the uh, Green Day show, you know? <laughs> and people said that back then. And it was stupid when they said it now. And it's stupid when they say it about TikTok. Like, it doesn't matter if people like it, then that's all good. It doesn't matter how yeah. they find it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Time will, time will work all that out. So when you see the crowds now, like what is the mix of kind of old school versus new fans? Uh, it's a, an amazing mix. It's like people with their kids and then there's straight up just, you know, the 13 year old who's never been to a show before who's crowd surfing for the first time. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Um, the energy is high. It's a, uh, I, I wasn't sure if, um, you know, the crowds would be as aggressive as they are, but because of all the new uh, fans, it's like, it is like bouncing and going crazy. And it's been, it's been amazing. So uh, really like, you know, we feed off of that, especially our bass player, Jaime, he's going to hurt himself up there because of how, how like 
he's like a puppy. He's like when people people get excited, he gets excited. So yeah, it's 